Okay, we're going to be looking at finding the equation of an exponential function that travels through two points. Now, the first thing you want to do is recognize the form of an exponential equation. So if they ask you to find the equation of an exponential function, you need to realize that the form of an exponential function is going to be written in this kind of a structure. So y equals a m to the x plus b. Now, the important thing to realize is that b term absolutely, actually represents an asymptote. So if we take an exponential function and we shift it up or down, we're going to move the asymptote. And that equation of the asymptote is going to be y equals b. So here's an example. We have find the equation of the exponential function that passes through the point 281 and 4, 9, and has an x, the x-axis as an asymptote. Well, the equation of the x-axis is y equals 0. So they might even state that. So that means b equals 0. So I'm going to do y equals am to the x. Now, I'm going to plug in my points, and this is x, and this one's y, into the equations. Now, my advice is start with the larger x. 4 is larger than 2, so I'm going to plug in 4 for x, 9 for y, and I get 9 equals am to the 4th. Now plug in 2 and 81. So I get 81 for y equals am squared. Now the reason I like to start with the larger x first, because now if I take these equations and I divide them, do 9 over 81 equals am to the 4th over am squared. Well, we can reduce the a's. m to the 4th over m squared. This equals m squared. So I've got 9 over 81, which is 1 ninth, equals m squared. We take the square root. Now, we would normally write plus or minus 1 third, but the base of an exponential function, when you work with this, the multiplier is always a positive quantity, so you don't have to worry about negatives. Okay, so now we're going to take this equation right here, the m equals 1 third, and I've still got to figure out what a is. So I can plug it into either one of these two equations. So I'm going to plug into the easier of the two, and in that case, it's going to be this guy. I get 81 is equal to a times 1 third squared. Now, 1 third squared is 1 ninth. So I get a over 9. Multiply by 9. 9 times 81 is 729. Now I just got to put my pieces together. We have 729 times 1 third to the x. Okay, so that's a basic one where we have the x-axis is an m asymptote, or we have y equals 0. Okay, let's look at one where we don't have the x-axis as an asymptote. So we're going to use the same kind of a format and realize that b is going to determine your asymptote. So I'm going to find the equation x exponential function that passes to the point 2, 190, and 5, 48.88 has an asymptote at y equals 10. Well, that tells me right now that b is going to equal 10. Okay, now I'm going to plug in my points. Now, again, I'm going to start by plugging in either one, but when I go to put them together, I'm going to look at the, the larger x being on top. So plugging in 2 and 190, so x equal 2, and y is equal to 190. That was that first piece. So 190 equals am squared plus 10. Then when I plug in 5 and 48.88, 48.88 equals am to the x, so x was 5. We're going to subtract 10 from both sides. So I got 38.88 equals am to the fifth. I'm going to start with my bigger x first. Then I'm going to put this over, subtract 10. 
180 over am squared. Now we're going to divide the two equations. Now this is going to require using your calculator. So I do 38.88 divided by 180. And I do A and A. So this is going to end up equaling 0.216. M to the fifth over M squared is equal to M cubed. Now I'm going to take the cube root or raise both sides to the one third power. I find my multiplier is 0.6. Now I'm going to take this equation right here, I'm going to take my m and plug it back into any of these equations, but in this case it's actually easiest to plug it into this guy right here. So I got 180 is equal to a times 0.6 squared. 0.6 squared is 0.36. 180 divided by 0.36. I get a is equal to 500. Now I just got to put my piece together, so I've got y is equal to 500. The multiplier was 0.6 to the x plus 10. Okay, the other kind of problem you could face with this one is where they give you a graph. So I have an asymptote right here, and this happens at y equals negative 4, an x-intercept at 3, going to the point 560. So again, we're going to start with this equation, realizing that the b is going to equal negative 4. Now I'm going to need to plug in points. Well, I've got a point 560, but I've also got this point. This point right here is 3, 0. So we're going to plug in our equations. So when I plug in 560, I get 60 is equal to am to the fifth minus 4. Plug in 3 and 0. Remember, x is 3, y is 0. So 0 equals am cubed minus 4. We're going to add 4 on both of these equations. So I get 64 equals am to the fifth. 4 equals am cubed. We're going to divide these equations. 64 over 4 is 16. The a's will cancel. m to the fifth over m cubed is m squared. My multiplier is simply 4. Now I'm going to take this multiplier and plug it into the easiest equation I could find. So I got 4 is equal to a times 4 cubed. 4 cubed, do 4 times 4 times 4, that's 64. 4 divided by 64 reduced to 1 16th. So now I know my equation. I got a is 1 16th, m is 4. There's my equation.